Him what? Dollar on base. And the Mishnah, right? Host is a cost of tax to Elon. Kilo also of a sukkah by Sony makes a sukkah under a tree. It's as if he made it inside his house. Sukkah gabi sukkah. If you have a sukkah on top of sukkah, sukkah yonek shera. The top uppermost sukkah is kosher. Vatachtoyin b'sula. The bottom sukkah is posel. I read on there. Not necessarily. Main dirim bal yona. If the top one is not livable, then uh, or I, I just gave away something which I shouldn't have. Just the top one doesn't have the urine in it. Okay. Top one doesn't have the urine in it. In it, the bottom one is kosher. Now, says the says the Gemara, you have two schachim on one top of the other. So the top one is and the top one also, I'll take out the word ain, so each one is less than 50%. Together they make up uh, so how much gap can there be, be, do be, be between the two of them? They'll still, still join together. The Bible never asked this question. What? It's actually quite a good question, yes, but the Bible never asked it nonetheless. So, train on Roy, it's Machlokis. Chadam Asar, there could be up to 10 Tvachim between the two. Vachan Amar Arba, the other one says only up to 4 Tvachim. 4 Tvachim is, of course, the Shir Malkam, by all Allahs of Mechitzas, right? So, Gemara is going to discuss. Uh, if it's if you if you don't allow anything which is already sheer malcolm to be distant, such as the sheer ohel, so then shu tefach. shu tefach. We've been part the minimum sheer ver ohel is a tefach, so if it shouldn't be allowed to be more than a tefach apart, and the Gemara does not answer this question. So um, the, again, the Gemara doesn't answer that issue. About the uh, chorah tefach should be enough of a gap that they shouldn't be able to even start. Mara goes back to to the discussion of the Mishnah. If there no there are no actual dwellings, meaning that the, the top one is not used, so the bottom one is kosher. Now, my during mamish. According to you, that what would pass? Only if somebody actually is using the upper sukkah, or if you were doing, or even if it was suitable to be uh, to be uh, used, that is enough to pass. We might have tana chad safi kusav kumir Rabbi Zira for that which a certain old man said in front of Rabbi Zira about filu atachdona kshera that even the bottom one is kosher. From this we do, do derive that the top one must also be a kosher sukkah, right? Because late by Nash Omar Afilu, a person doesn't say Afilu El Du Moida Kamaisa unless he concedes on the first point, right? So it must be that he's saying that even the top one is a kosher sukkah. I'm sorry, the top one is a kosher sukkah, and even the bottom one is a kosher sukkah. Hadam Radiun Mamish. So tells us that despite the fact that the top one is a kosher sukkah and is Royaladira, still the bottom one must be kosher as long as the top one is not actually used for Dira, right? So it's only Dira and Mamish literally dwelling in the upper one which passes the bottom one but if it's suitable for Dira then as long as you don't use it it's still the bottom one is still kosher. Okay? You put on top of the sukkah a sheet to protect because of the sun or underneath because of the um, the, the leaves which are falling down or you spread it across posts within the sukkah's bustle I have a person who I'll not claim I need to be allowed to put it on bed posts okay allowed to put actually a blanket or some sort of other canopy on bed posts as well as not freestanding posts in the sukkah Tani, we learn Tola Bokitios Kishego. If you hang sheets in the sukkah, it's kosher. Or sheets or, or some other form of tapestry. Oh, that's only true, Minatsat. On the walls. Homina Malab, if you actually hang on top, it's possible because it's a sake. The Bible doesn't hold that way, though. And the Ushami itself, of course, we're going to bring down now an arguing, dissenting opinion. That in fact, if, even if it's hanging down from the schach, it's goes to good. O tachtem ne underneath. Uh, if you hang a, a sheet underneath the roof, underneath the schach, because of the leaves which are falling down, it's okay. Am Rabbi Yosi Lomer El Bnei Anesher. Rabbi Yosi says as long as you're putting it there Bnei Anesher, because of stuff which falls down. Or Shalom Bnei Anesher. 
No, that, that's possible, sorry. It's in Nair Nesha, it's possible, right? That's what the Mishra said, in Nair Nesha, it's possible. However, Hav Shalom in Nair Nesha, if it's not because of Nesha, rather because of Noi, it's because of of um, adornment, then it's kosher. Okay? So that's, so if you even, uh, hypothetically, we don't do this, of course, but you're going to have a sukkah, which is completely covered by sheets underneath. As long as those sheets are made for the purpose of adornment, that's okay, you're allowed to have them. Okay. Well, it depends for your purpose. It, that actually would be a problem, I think, because that's like Nasher, because there it's actually serving as a roof. But the bees, the heter with the bee one is that it's oimim ruba aparot. It's not that it's. Uh, I mean, aparot is more oimim. Yeah, cause, no, but I'm saying, yeah, but I'm not, that's not what I'm saying, that if it was used because it was actually a roof, and it was not a Paritz Murubel I made, then it would be a problem, according to what the Yushami is saying, because saying clearly that it has to be Dafka Bish Shalomi Pianesha. I have a person now that I meet, now the Mishra said regardless, um, so in any event, this argument because it says that even a sheet on top can be okay as long as it's done completely for the purpose of noy. I have a point of God, but it can't be on top of bedpost. Rabbi Yerushim Rabbi Yerushim said very interesting fr- uh, uh, rationale, which the Bavli does not bring down at all, which is Shikenu Osa Chalaba Tzuliyodim. Whenever you get under blankets, you make a, 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 a cavity in the uh, blankets with your elbows, right? So you should always possibly anybody who's under a blanket in a sukkah because he's inside a Noel, right? So, so that's what he's saying. That, that obviously that's not considered to be a true tent. And so the same thing, even if you put a canopy on bedposts, it's still not considered to be a true tent. It's a very cute raya, which the, the, the Bible never brings down. Okay, a little less again. If you uh, put on top of your, your sukkah... Something wrong? Oh, I don't know, it's very noisy, this spot, more than the other one. Maybe it's the heat. He lost the Geffen, or it's a glass. Nice picture, nice signs across the street. I <laughs> never realized in the other one. I noticed the last night. He lost the Geffen, but it's a glass. If you put on top of the, um, you put on top of a sukkah of a uh, grapevine, a glass is a gourd, a kisum is some other tree. I forgot, like a, a aloe vera, I think it is actually. But see, a gabon, and uh, you put schach on top of them. It's possible because though so that that's not kosher schach, right? Obviously, it's still mechubel kach. If I have the sikhu was more than those those trees, or she cuts it on, or you cut the trees, kshera. It's kosher because then it becomes valid. Zach, Zach, as general principle, kol davar shu mekabel tumah. Anything which is mekabel tumah, ain't gedulim min oretz, a mesach kimbo. If it doesn't grow from the ground, you can't use for zach. Kol davar sheino, or kol sorry, kol davar shu mekabel tumah, or you may ain't gedulim or it doesn't grow from the ground, right? Uh, so you cannot use for zach. So kol davar sheino mekabel tumah, anything which is not mekabel tumah, and the gedulim min oretz, and it grows from the ground. Then, uh, with Sakhim Bodhi, you're allowed to use the Sakh. Okay. Rabbi Bashim Rav said, Bushi Yidlo Yadlo If you're going to, uh, to put, uh, to, to cut the, the, um, the vines, which are on top of your Sukkah, you use the Sakh, you have to put them on top of your Sakh, on top of your Sukkah, the shame, the purpose of creating Sakh when you cut them, because otherwise it's like Tas of Lomin Osli, right? You actually have to put them on the roof for the purpose of having them be Sakh. Even though they're still connected to their vines, but then when you disconnect them, that's considered to be already uh, completing the process. Rabbi Yaakov Barach Hashem Rabbi Zira said, "Tzarech la You also have to shake them, right? Because if you don't shake them, it's tassel lomin osli, right? Because uh, they uh, they were there to begin with before they became valid tzach. Therefore, once you cut them, you have to actually cut them. It says more, no. You have to actually shape, shake them. Um, Rabbi Yosef said, no, Tate and Lakula. Uh, they're both, he, he, both Rabbi Yaakov Rach and Rabbi Zira, in fact, had a mind to be Mako. He loves the Lagach, and we only need one of these criteria. If you put it, put the, put the, uh, trees over the top in order to, uh, cut them, uh, after, afterwards, even though you don't shake the twigs, 
It's valid. It's not tasa lo minosli. It's not something which is created on its own as opposed to you creating it. And vice versa. If you shook them, even though you didn't put them on top for that purpose, so that also is valid for getting out of tasa lo minosli. There's a bunch of interpretations of this. The carbonator actually calls shavios. Uh, uh, half pipes or pipes uh, which are not makabal tuma but nevertheless they're the, the, which are made out of wood I assume but nevertheless you're not allowed to use them as your schach but he quotes the name of the oruch and, and I didn't see that in the oruch the oruch actually says that these are, are are ladder rungs okay these are actually rungs which are used as ladders four ladders so in any event it's because they're a kli and perhaps because they're makabal tuma as well they're puzzle. Right, they can't use them. Bizcharim, if you have, you know, the male part of a pe- uh, uh, an arrow, which pegs into the female part, right, because the peg goes into a receptacle. The male part of an arrow doesn't have a clay keyboard, doesn't have a receptacle. So, if it's pshute clay, it's a simple wooden vessel, and therefore you can use it to make schach, right, to uh, 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 The cables have a receptacle in which the peg goes, and they are psula, therefore they cannot be used to create schach. If you made schach out of uh, threads of linen which have already been uh, separated and made suitable to sew, that's possible because obviously it could be makabal tuma at that point. But who would say if you use leaves from the flax plant, shera, that is valid because obviously it's not a royal makabal tuma. What if you want to use rope? East Tani Tani, the shera. There's those who says kosher, man, and East Tani, psula. And those who said puzzle. Now they don't argue. Madam Mark Sherry is that it's Kosher Bukhavolim shall see the story about fibers made out of uh, out of uh, out of the uh, the 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 fibrous uh, branches at the bottom of a palm tree. And they themselves are macabre too. I don't know what they're called in English, these fibrous things, but I don't know. But uh, that's, uh, that's okay. Man absolutely said it's possible but Kavolim shall be with uh, with the ropes made out of linen. Now it's not clear to me exactly why. The, uh, the t- there's some people t- 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 and sure sure means that some people say that's macabre to them at that point because it's been spun into thread, right? And therefore it's a macabre tomb. I would say it's not macabre tomb, but because it looks like a kaylee, it doesn't look like sock anymore. So therefore you're not allowed to do it. I'm here for you. Not allowed to use it, okay? Because it looks like ropes. Which is a new kind of a new chiddush, right? That uh, is a new thing which doesn't look like schach. So, but in any event, uh, it's not clear exactly whether these ropes are makabel tum or not. If they were makabel tum, that would be automatic reason to disqualify them. But it's not clear. Okay. No, it's dumia the keli. Yeah, but that's the second shot. But that's like by Cleates, maybe. Oh, you're right, because the sack also has to have a receptacle. I don't know, it's a good question. I don't know exactly. Yeah. All right. Do you have a cell phone here? The statement of the is totally noob soul. You know, it's not... Uh, uh, it's not in the Bobley, you know. Bobley never discusses ropes. There's a... <laughs> I really shouldn't mention this on tape, but there's a Chaim Potok novel in which he has a chaplain to go from JTS, go to Korea, and not have any... Uh, not have any... Uh, a schach, so he uses actually rope to make a, a to make a sukkah. So he has like a dream in which he sees two of his rabbeim deba- debating whether he did the right thing, and obviously the two of rabbeim are supposed to be Saul Lieberman versus Gershom Sholem. So I uh, truth this, I don't see Sholem holding down the sukkah as any significance whatsoever, but the, the Lieberman says it doesn't work, and Sholem says it does work, or something like that. Anyway, but uh, here the Ushami says quite clearly the rope is no good. The question is, it sounds to me like a psul drabonin, right? That theoretically, if it's zumi the keli, it should be uh, it should be a good doraisa. And uh, the tuma, the tuma aspect, I don't know. It sounds like it's a kabbal tuma, but I'm not sure exactly why. I mean, if I need to pishta, if I need to pishta a kabbal tuma, so also to sense the reason that the rope should also be a kabbal tuma, no? 
because I need to taste red. So the rope shein kabel tuma. So I don't know why the korban doesn't just say it's makabel tuma. I'm not sure. The Torah and Shulish Shari brings up from the Shari both pshatim. The back he brings down the pro both possibilities. Anyway, the remains unclear. Even though the person. Um, Amrabi Yechiel says, "See, says when you gather from your goren and from that's from your uh, silo, mikvecha from your vineyard." Oh, what did I say? It's the wine press. Wine press is meant to say. Mipsol she begorim shriyakav adosu chaschach. That's Rabbi Yochan. Shem elok shoyim amar ve'ed yalem in oritz. He says. So for that, for that, he learns that that's be to to do like karka, just like Gordon Yakov would do like karka. Shabbat says for eighty alim in oritz. Well, sukkahs come from the Nani Yakovod, right? And the Nani Yakovod are also do like karka because the water vapor rises from the ground to form the clouds. Am Rabbi Tam Chuma, I don't, I don't know if we ever had this before, but Rabbi Tam Chuma, they could die today, could die today. They both follow the light of reasoning from agadic issues. Rabbi Yochan Dua, Rabbi Yochan says, Anoni mino malo hayu. Rabbi Yochan says, clouds come from on high. They don't come from this world. Do we ever have this before? Yeah, he holds clouds come down from Shemaim. So he can't learn for that Kidule Karka. Yeah, I don't know what they would do with this, Kumar, because it sounds like it's very literal here. I know that Milama, somebody wrote on uh, my email list that there's some Yerushalmi in Trumas which says there's never any Machlogos Pimtsius. But I don't remember any such Yerushalmi. I think it's made up. I think so, somebody made it up in order to. Uh, yeah, but this quite clearly seems to be my focus on the I think this is alluded to in the Bavli. It says Ayn Tainus, and I think there is something there like this. But in any event, right? Rabbi Yochanan, I do a duar, my noni milamalo haya. He holds clouds come down. So do you all? Uh, do you all if love me us? Because I learned out from us. Called Gorna Chamik Vecha, which is of course where the Bavli learns out from. And Shem and Lachish are my noni milamaton haya. The the I think the Shem the Bavli might bring up both. Okay, the back just doesn't bring down the relationship to clouds. They rise up from the ground with water vapor to from my eyes, so he can learn the the the, the, the makeup of the um, of the schach from the uh, from from clouds. I'm Rabbi Yovin. Rabbi Yovin said, "Dink The Rabbi Yochan Shlagish argue about the clouds based on the machlokus in Smolet. Yochan learns that rain is like when I send you a gift of wine. So I send you wine. I don't just send you the, the wine without the bottle. I send you the bottle as well, right? So Rabbi Yochan says the, the rain comes in its container from heaven. Okay? Rabbi Shimon Lakish to Madaman Lay, he gives a different interpretation where he says, like, Kahain Damayel Chavay, like an individual says to his friend, Shlach Kupascha, send me your container, Vasal Luchitin, and I'll give you the, um, the, the grain. So actually, the, we send up the clouds from down here, and the Kodesh Baruch Hu then gives us the rain in the clouds. Okay, so, so that's the, um, the so he also obviously comes up up and then Hashem gives it back down to us again. Okay, I don't see any reason, any way to learn this Machleg is not uh, non literally. I mean, maybe there's some way to do it, but it seems that they actually had scientific dispute as to the nature of clouds at the time. Okay? Chavili Kashu Chavili is run eighteen Chavili is in bundles of, of straw of wood and of trigs, a masachi ben, they may not be used as chach. In meteran, if however you undid them, then they're ksheros and they're kosher. The kulok ksheros and tfaras, they can all be used as walls. Even though they they might not be suitable for chach, they're still good for walls. Yes. Why is that? Rechim Hashem Yochum says, "Me neisha yinirus koot." So it doesn't look like a like a chach. It looks like a uh, like a uh, a storehouse. Rabbi Yaakov, Rabbi Yehoshua, and Rabbi Shem, and Rabbi Chia, Rabbi say, "Ain chavila b'chusim mi'chav hey." The minimum size of a chavila of a bunch is twenty-five. If it's less than twenty-five, it's okay, because it doesn't look like a uh, like a storehouse then. Okay. Chinah b'shori Shem, Rabbi said, "Kotel is chach." Now, this story is alluded to a little bit in the Bible, but not as comprehensive as here. 
if you harvest for the purpose of schach, elam yodos. So the halach is that generally speaking, the uh, if you have um, food, let's say in a twig. Oh. Not finished though. He came. We can have a minion. <laughs> the uh, now we have it. Uh, the Randavov uh, Rav. You just missed the interesting machlok is where the where the rain comes down from the heavens or comes up from the ground. Well, it does start from the ground vapor. That's very schluckish. We often know what it comes down from Shemaim. Okay. That's nuts, but it starts out. No, he also doesn't start out down here. It starts out from Shemaim. Okay, like a meteor shower. Okay. Um, we're on, on Vav, um, Ralph, uh, it was a short plot we did. And, uh, the, um, the, uh, the Machlokas that we have, we're actually talking about like this, uh, in the, the Gemara in the fourth line. If you have, let's say, this is, uh, this is actually, uh, this was a twig. And this is, uh, a cl- uh, an orange, let's say, okay? So the orange is Makabal Tumor, right? Because it's Ocha. If this serves as a handle for the orange, so that's called the Yad, and that's also Makabal Tumor. It's not Makabal Tumor itself, but because it's attached to the orange. So therefore, it could be Machnis and Moti Tumor from the orange. If you touch the handle, it could be Matama the orange. Touch the orange, it causes Tumor to transfer down the handle. Again, because it's a Yad for the Ocha, right? Now, when you were. Separated from the Oh, it has to be. Yeah, separated from a tree, right. Now, what happens, however, if you're using the same, the same thing, a branch with an orange, for Schach? And we know Schach is now not allowed to be Makabal Tumor. So what, what's the status then? So we say, Ein Yodos L'schach. The Schach is okay, because the Yad is only if I want to handle the food, so it's good to have a handle on it, and therefore, it passes. But if I'm not interested in the Schach, in the, in the oranges as food, I'm just interested in using the orange tree as Schach, so there's no concept of a Yad L'tumor vis-a-vis the, the fruit, and therefore I can still use the wood. Okay? So it says the Gemara, Chir Rabbi Shavishem Rav said, if you harvest in the tree for the purpose of schach, ain't no yodos, no problem yodos. However, kotzar l'schach v'chishev alei l'mach v'maychol. You cut for schach, but then you had a mind to eat, actually, the oranges, then bolb machshova, then it gets, becomes the yad. Okay, then the, and then of course it, it's not suitable to use the schach. So whatever is part and parcel of the yad of the orange cannot be used as schach then, right? What about the opposite? You, you cut it down for the purpose of of food. And then you had a mind, you change your mind and say, you know, I'm not going to use the orange branch for food, I'll use it for schach. Does it still have yodos? The Gemara's answer is yes. And with this general principle, we have throughout Shas. Tuma comes, the suitability of being Kabbal Tuma comes from Machshava. But once it's suitable to be to Tuma, it cannot lose its suitability unless a Maisa happens to it. Okay? A my, my, only a Maisa's Maitsimide Machshava, not a Machshava Maitsimide Machshava. And they have a Kotza Macha of a Chishav Alin Mischar, you cut for the purpose of food. And then he changed my disciple to make it Schach. You have to be it. You have to have actually do a mice, and the mice you have to do is to take to take enough straw and make it the majority over the food and over the handles which are existing, because the handles themselves cannot be undermined since you already designated them as, as uh, designated food as handles. There we have to be a vatel by putting in more tzchak kosher. Rav Kotod Achim and Rav can hold like that about the Achim said. Manakim and however, what should we ask? We should ask about this, which is Kotel L'schach V'huchshru. You cut for the purpose of schach and water fell on it. Now the truth is, I'd rather change the way this is read, only slightly. Take out the word huchshru here and read it like this: Kotel L'schach V'amar, and he but uh. uh, uh 
where you cut for Pesach, but he said yeah, when yeah. after you cut it, mitzvah son, when the mitzvah is finished, Achzir I want to then put it back to the sale to eat, and now put in the word Vuhuksu, and then water fell on it prior to to having gone back to be food. So he cut it for Pesach. Then he had a mind that thought, you know what, I'm using that for schach, but in seven days I'll put it back on my silo to eat. Then water fell in it within those seven days, before Sukkot was over. What's its status now? Is it Muksha Kabel Tumor? Is it Sulubul Kabel Tumor because the water fell in it? Or do I say since this thought to make it food doesn't take effect until the end of the Sukkot? So therefore, it doesn't affect the fact that water fell on it. Yeah, but you've thrown at the time that it was going to be food after Sukkot. Right. So that's a Shiloh. Yeah, so that's a Shiloh. Can a thought in the future combine with a Heksher beforehand? That's exactly the one of Shiloh, okay? So, uh, uh, three, uh, problems. The other way, say they need a Heksher another time when they actually become fruit after Sukkot. Oh, Kfar Heksher be all them, or Heksher be all them, where their Heksher is right in their hands. So it's already Muksher already. Rabbi Yasser, B'Shem, Rabbi Chaim, Rabbi Chaim, Rabbi said, Oh. He's doing the walk for herself, Oh, yeah, there's no answer. I forgot. That's it. It's a question. Yeah, it's a good question. Right. No answer. Back at the, uh, now, we want to know how do you, how can you, how do we know, even though the schach cannot be served with Shakabal Tumor, how do you know the wolf can be served with Shakabal Tumor? Rabbi Yatrim Rechaim Rechanina said, Bisakosa Ron Esa, big boo boo, should be Esa Parochas. It says you should place over the Oron the sons of Parochas. Now, actually, the Parochas is not really over the Oron. Because the Aron is inside, behind the parochus, and the parochus is hanging hard, vertically, right? So it's not really over. So what does it mean that it's over? So we see mikancha doven korisuk aschach. For here we see that a doven is called schach. That's one thing we see that a, that a wall can be called schach. And mikancha osit faras doven shemakapul tuma. We see that a, that a wall can be made with something which is makapul tuma. Why? Because parochas is is a, is a wall, it, right? It's gold. It's, it's woven. Anything that's woven is a kabbal tumah. So we see you can make walls to turn a kabbal tumah. Now it's an interesting thing, of course, that uh, uh, the, that we have to learn here that a dolphin is kori schach. The reason why we have to do it is because if you learn, remember previously last time we said that part of the way, according to many uh, sources that we know how many walls are on the sukkos, because it says sukkos, 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 or sukkah, sukkah, sukkos. So we have to know that walls are also considered to be a form uh, that sukkah doesn't just connote the top, it also can connote a wall. Okay? Mesachim is allowed to use beams to, to make a sukkah, to make schach. If you put on a beam which is more than, which is ten, four tefachim high, they're wide, that's okay. However, you can't sleep underneath that beam. Okay? So it says in Yushalmi, Rabbi Yerushalmi Rav said, "She b'shkshiyesh ben Rochav Arba Nechlaku." The machlokus is when the beams are four tefachim wide, whether that that you can use the beam, like Rabbi Yehuda said, and the sukkah still kosher, or for a mayor, you can't sleep under that area in the sukkah because the beam is there. Rabbi Yosi b'shem Rabbi Yochan said a different machlokus. It's not it's not when they are four tefachim wide, but rather. When if they're finished beams, and if they're finished beams, obviously they look much more like a keli, and therefore they should be possible. Okay, which probably doesn't bring down the second type or a second reason, but that's uh, what the Yushami is postulating. Perhaps the reason not because of the width, but rather because of the finishing. As Rav said. Machlokas is when they're four tefachim wide. It sounds uh, like koyim mishupin lekelim. If they weren't four tefachim wide, but they were just finished like like vessels, they were called mutter. Everybody agrees it's mutter. The mad on Rabbi Yirmiya sichicha bishlevos pasub sula, and for that which Rabbi Yirmiya said, is that the case? That which I've already said to use a um, uh, to use ladder rungs is possible. I mean, must be holds like Rabbi Mayor who answered the use 
of anything which could be considered to be a Kaylee. Um, I'm not sure I got that right. Just a minute. You want to get up, you'll get up. You don't need to No, I'm mistaken. I mean, and the Shalvios are less than four Tvachim wide. The rungs of the ladder, the, the emphasis on the rungs of the ladder are less than four Tvachim wide. And then the last Rabbi Yirmiya said, who said that the Machlokas is only where it's four Tvachim wide, now where they're finished, said in that case that it's possible, right? I'm Rabbi Yirmiya Sula B'Shalvios, even though the less than four Tvachim wide, Psula. Our main cry, Mayor Ray, and the Bnei Yeshiva said that's because he poskins like Rabbi Mayor. Right, cry mayor in our Mishnah. Our mayor in our Mishnah, our mayor in our Mishnah, you just got through saying, requires four Tvachim in order to passel. And these latter rungs are certainly not four Tvachim wide, so how can you passel them, right? So it must be Adam Rahi Adai Yata. It must be that it's not, not true that our Biyam Yotzimach Lokas is both by Arba Tvachim and by even less than four Tvachim but finished. And therefore it was Machmir and that he said, that if it's finished, even though it's less than four tvachim, it's possible because again he holds that the machlokas whether it's okay or not is both either I should say when it's four tvachim wide or when it's a finished vessel. Okay, so actually to take your mahogany chair legs and make them schach would not be valid. Not be valid, right? Okay, because it's finished. Um, of course, that might not be a problem because it might not have a base keyboard, but that's not the issue we're discussing. Um, me, uh, and vice versa. Uh, her Rabbiosa, you said Rabbiosa said the Machlokas is by smooth Kalim. Rabbiosa, Shem Rabbi Yehuda, then Rabbiosa say, Ne Rabbi Yehuda, Meshupim le Kalim Nechleku. I don't know if it's the name of Rabbi Yehuda actually. Uh, no, it says the name of Rabbi Yochanan. So, me, uh, my, her Rabbiosa, uh, Let's see Rabbi Yossi again. Rabbi Yossi B'Shem Rabbi Rabbi Yochan said, "I'm shuping the kaim nachu." The machlokas in our mission, Rabbi Yossi, is where they are smooth finished vessels. Habishesh Shabrocha Varba Divrei Kolos. It sounds like some machlokas then, but if it's fourth by wide, everybody agrees it's also. This cannot be. The Madhor Rabbi Yossi B'Sidra Rabbi Rabbi Yossi Paskin the Great Base Medrash Maltera Masachkin Ba. That you're allowed to use a thick beam in order to be schach. Rami the Bnei Yeshiva said, "Kirabi Huda Hore." It only works according to Rabbi Yehuda, not according to Meir. Hadav Rasa must be there. Meir Rabbi Yehuda argue even by wide beam, not just by a finished beam. And that's why the Bnei Yeshiva said he had to be like Rabbi Yehuda, and he had to he had to must see that they argue by both cases. Okay. Shmuel Amar Hadav that Armel Lorech. Shmuel said that which you cannot use a beam is only. Uh, lengthwise, have a laroch of kosher. Now, lengthwise means when it's going to cut up when you have three walls, and it's per- perpendicular to the back wall, so it cuts off the walls, right? Anyway, it cuts off. You don't have now. You no longer have three walls of kosher slach. Do you understand why? No. If you, this is your sukkah, if this is your sukkah, and you put the beam like this, what, by six? Yeah, so you no longer have three walls. Right, so that's no good. That this is no good. But if you put the same beam, say, like this, so it'd still be good. Why? Right? Because you have three walls behind the beam, up to the beam. Okay. Right, and that the, 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 but this one would be kosher, this one possible, but this this case both would be possible because this is open ended this side. Okay? Also, it's like a cross. Uh, <laughs> um, 
says the Gemara, Rabbi Yochan Roshim and Logish Tabayit over they both said Bein Loroch Bein Loroch of Kosher doesn't matter because Chav Posel doesn't pass unless it's four Amos. That's why we don't pass it. We pass in Chav Posel passes in four Tzvachim, but he passes only in four Amos. Therefore, it doesn't matter which way it's facing. Rabbi Zeh Roshim and Rabbi Yochan said it depends. Kedivei Mishu Posel. We can't puzzle God. He says, no, he says, e- either way is possible, this way or that way. Because he holds that the, with, e- if you have a beam, which is fourth volume wide, comes like a metal beam. It's not, it's not, it's not kosher to be you put in a schach. And it's okay. And even if it's for exactly for its vacuum, it's still too much because uh, it's already considered to be significant. It's not part of the sukkah, so therefore it doesn't work. Uh, Rami Rabbi Boon Boon Kumi Kumi Rabbi Zira Rami Rabbi Boon Ask Rabbi Zira Ma Rabbi Yochanan Reish Shum Elokish Tarvei Tarvei and Omri What What They both asked What are Rabbi Yochanan and Rabbi and Rabbi Shum Elokish They say I'm alone So they responded Misha Mishum She Ain Tzcha Paisal El Ba Paisal El Ba Arbamas they say that it's kosher, if it, whether it's going widthwise or lengthwise, they say schach posel only passes by four amas, like I told you before. Masisa pli Rav Nuna. However, the following Mishnah argues Rav Nuna. The Mishnah says sukkah. Uh, the Rav Nuna's water says possible regardless because it's like a metal beam. And sukkah she'edam b'smachzegus a rosh v'ruch shulchano. You have a sukkah which only holds seven tefachim. Vavi Nasser brought a beam as part of the schach. The Yitzayim made a shlosh tefachim. Now the beam is actually four tefachim wide, but you could turn on its side. They had they had three by fours. So you put on its side, it's only three to three tefachim wide, right? So you put on its side, it's only three tefachim wide. So then it's okay. Now eat tamei lerochav. Lay side yocho. If you're going to say uh, it, that it's width wise, you can't say that. So what are you going to say that it's going not not width wise but length wise? Also does you no good, right? It's a is not going to be underneath that beam because after all it's a minimum size sukkah. So it's minimum sukkah. He's got to find himself underneath that beam. Yet we say that the sukkah is kosher. So it must be that we hold that he, that this price holds that it's not doesn't become like a metal beam and remain like a wooden beam and therefore it depends it's just situational if it's lying on the side which is fourth fucking wide it's no good but it's lying on the side which is only three fucking wide then it could be taka valid and that's okay so we have three opinions here Schach Post is only Post on our Bahamas Schach Post is Post on Dalit Fachim and Schach Postle is like a metal rod even if it's actually wood it's no good Okay, those are all the three sheets that we pass it. It's not possible, only possible before it's talking. Kiko Shayna Lea Maziva. You have a ceiling which has no no, no pitch on top of it. The Maziva is like a pitch. Like today we have the um, the tar, on t- whatever it's called. The, the tar, but those tiles, whatever they're called. Tiles. On top of our roofs, right? So that obviously can't be a kosher schach, right? But if you took off the tiles, you just have the attic frame exposed. So he says here, that's okay. Right? We don't marry Shumra Basil L. On the fact, bake, all you have to do is either remove, uh, either shake the wood, or you know the house is the same, take one from between them, because of the problem of a task of Lumina also, right, of uh, <coughs> making it for the purpose and not having it already made, but that's enough. But shower me, my fact, bake, with no, uh, 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 it's either or. You must do both. Be an assignment from between the, the wood. All you have to do is take one, and you don't have to move it. Now, of course, vice versa as well. Says the more on top of Zion and Ralph. If you peek back, if you moved it, shook it, and it's our little chasm in the sign, you have to take one. From the other ones, it also works as well. Okay. 
Ham, just a couple of more minutes. It's far too early to let you go. Hamakar sukasa bishipurim or baaruko samita. If somebody puts on a sukkah, no, no, right? He puts on a metal skewers or the the, the frame which holds the bed in place. Nevertheless, if there's enough room between the the bed fra- the, the the skewers or the metal rods or the bed frames, which are makabel tuma, then it's okay because then you can put down actually more schach than kosher than schach posel. Hachaitit begodish lasus or sukkah, and a sukkah of somebody digs into a pile of grain to make himself a sukkah, it's not a valid sukkah. Okay? That's again because of tasalomin also. You have to first put up uh, uh, the walls and then the roof on top, not dig in so that the roof and walls come on their self automatically. That's not a valid form of building a sukkah. Time learned Yosem Mikamoisam. The gap between the two metal pieces or the two pieces of the bed frame has to be larger than the size of the frame or the metal itself. So it will be actually more than 50% schach kosher, right? That's essential. Uh, now, I, I, I should Chevraya say it's Poshet Shein Tevach Nirat Sol Tevach It says they put in and take out and you can't put something which is exactly a Tevach in a space which is exactly a Tevach the space in which the Schach is going must by definition be larger than the possible boards because it says enough space to get something in and out between the boards which means it must be larger than the boards right Hey, it's right above our memory, but when I ask how, how, why is it true? How are you clue, clean schools? What about glassware? How are you tefach? The other is a tof tefach. You put a tefach to precisely a tefach. So here too, let's say the same thing. I'm Rabbi Yisrael, he said, Tamon, it's a typo here. Nichnas, the anal yotze. By glass, you can squeeze it in, but then you can't get it out. It's stuck there. And we need Bramoch, Nichnas, the yotze as we're able to go in and come out, and that's why the space actually between the beams is going to be larger than the space of the beams at all. Um, that's it. I didn't prepare further, and looking at it just like this. What? Scared. It didn't scare me, but it's taking a while to figure it out, and I don't you fall asleep while I'm figuring it out. <laughs>